it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. John Jones, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready, He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Well, the fans are going bananas as John Jones returns to the octagon. We'll see how he approaches this particular challenge. He has a massive reach advantage as usual. It's one thing to have length and size. It's another thing to use it effectively. Perhaps no one does so as well as the former UFC champion, Johnny Bones. He checked that last one. Good as that kick. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons or John Jones' calling card. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Yeah. Lee kick. Yeah. 
sidekick is true. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Back and forth we go. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Right hand, no good. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Two minutes to go in round one. Put your hands up. Oh. <laughs> stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now some separation from his clutch position. Leg kick. All right, late round action here, and we know John Jones is a five-tool player, but at least tonight it has been about the striking. He has been sharp. Well, he's a high-level striker, John, and it all comes down to his range and distance management. He keeps you at the edge of his strikes, and by doing that, he confuses his opponents. Tonight, he has all those tools going, and they're working at a rate that he probably couldn't have even expected. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, that body shot's nasty. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, nice hook by Lee. Beautiful job getting those hands up. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh! 20 seconds left. Jones is caught above the eye. That punch, no good. Straight left counter is true. Oh. Second round, straight oh. ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first now. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. So he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler will... Oh, big knee! He's hurting bad here.
just missed with the left there. Oh, the leather landed on both sides in that exchange. He's got a nasty blue starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Last year tonight, everything went right. That does happen very often. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Nice land. Great punch. All right, well, that blow is fossiting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than some... Oh, Hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Right hook to the head block. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, huge overhand. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Let me see that hole now. Oh, big left. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Seconds winding down in round two. Jones is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight.
This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see if they continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Looks like he got that right punch home. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Head kick there blocked by Johnny Bone. Hands high, hands high. Oh. oh, he's hurt. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Trademark inside leg kick there by Jones. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Jones is definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that has already compromised on his opponent. Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Three minutes to go in round three. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Beautiful kick. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Lead kick landed there by Jones. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope for oh, big knee. Feels like the beginning of the end. Fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. You gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on it. 45 seconds remain in the round. Lee gets hit with that stiff jab there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Jones's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Left hook to the head. 15 seconds. That's not a good shot to the head. Oh, you hear him again, bro. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds.
right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down, and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. Ready, they call that the trickle-down effect. That's what that is? Sure. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next ten minutes, Someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Hands up. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Jones is really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. He's back. Very fast, like he lands. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh. oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big left hand. Like that. Now they're both like throwing with power. There it is again. Look at that. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, clean knee to the head. Oh, huge left. Just over three minutes to go. He's got good leg kicks there. Oh my goodness. That's it. That'll do it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at two minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.